These soldiers are fighting a 21st century war with Soviet-era tanks. They're struggling to hold back Russia's front in the Donetsk region and are desperate for Western weapons. We need more equipment, we need more weapons. Kyiv asked its allies for 300 modern battle tanks. The US has vowed to send 31 of these, M1 Abrams, enough for one battalion. But there's concern the vehicles will be difficult for Ukrainians to run. The Abrams tanks are the most capable tanks in the world. <clears throat> They're also extremely complex to operate and maintain. So we're also giving Ukraine the parts and equipment necessary to effectively sustain these tanks on the battlefield. Alongside American armoured vehicles, more support is coming from Germany. After weeks of pressure, Berlin has agreed to send 14 of its Leopard 2 tanks, considered one of the best for warfare in Ukraine. It gives its crew a degree of survivability uh, that the Russian tanks can't even come close to. But in Germany, there was reluctance to send offensive weaponry, some still feeling the weight of history as an aggressor in two world wars. Germany's decision paves the way for other European countries to send their Leopard 2 tanks onto Ukraine. Already, leaders here in the UK had promised to send a squadron of Challenger 2 tanks to be on the ground in the coming months. Kremlin officials have labelled the tank supply as provocation by the West. It will be months before any new tanks are on the battlefront. Until then, Ukrainians will have to use what they have. Isabella Higgins, ABC News.